first off it stands for Dance Dance Revolution and the game basically involves playing to different songs and stepping on the arrows on the ground. You're doing like a lot of workout basically and it just got really addicting. And then after a while I got sort of good at it so then I started to play for competition purposes. Other than DDR, I'm working, sleeping and eating. That's it. basically a contest to see who's pretty much the best player in the area. And I've been practicing almost every day for the past two weeks. I can safely say I'm not rusty at this point. It, what we're doing is we're setting up a cross seat style uh, double elimination, which basically what is is that everybody has two chances to lose. If you lose your first match, you go into the secondary bracket, and if you lose in that bracket, then you're uh, out of the tournament. You still have a chance of coming first, even if you lose one match. Okay. Right now, we are watching the qualifying rounds take place. The song is called Izzy High. It's a level seven, and so basically every player is going to go through this song and. Jen? She's my sister. Yeah. Sister, because we like to tell people that. Because either people are like, are you going out? Because we spend a lot of time together and we definitely are not. We do have that brother and sister kind of relationship. <laughs> Although I'm Asian, most people think like dorky male Asian, like, oh, I like anime, I play dance games. So I don't really fall under that, so I don't really care. People would probably say my dude. Which, which, I, I mean, yeah, whatever. I, I expect it. So how do you think things are going to go over the course of the day? Oh, I'm expecting a lot of surprises. Yeah. Who are, are, are there some dark horses that have emerged? Brian. BNS Brian yeah. from Montreal. So, is it possible that you could be eliminated in the first round? Um, it's double elimination, so second round. No. What happens for me at least, the way the seatings work is that my first match is always like my warm-up match against some like easy person. Everyone thought JD lost and they got all excited and then they saw the score like, no! Really? Oh. Yeah, no one likes you. Right now everyone's finishing round one. They're allowed to pick a song from hard seven up to ex expert nine. Obstacles I'd have to face in songs would probably include stuff like uh, mines. Instead of stepping on it like you would on an arrow, you have to avoid it. There's also hands. There's like three arrows at once. You have to use your hands for the others. Or you can cheat it and be freaking French, which was termed by Frankie's mother when Brian started faking the hand. If you have bigger feet, you can BS the hands. Everyone in Montreal cheats the hands. Like the whole, we were there for, I was there for like a week and I didn't see one person do hand. Montreal. Yeah, you think we're gonna do pretty good? Yeah, so are you his coach or like what's your... What's yeah, your he's my coach. Yeah, coach? Okay. My Asian coach. Yeah, <laughs> so how are you doing? Like how's the competition work for you? Uh, we, we, we studied the players before coming here. Oh, you did? Yeah, uh, we... How did you study them? Well, there's a, there's a website on the internet where players put the scores. So oh. we, we can see uh, what, what songs they have low scores and what are their weaknesses. It's not only uh, how well you can do the song, it's also playing smart as in picking the right song choice against your competitor. So if you're good at hard songs, like that take a lot of stamina, you want to pick that so that your other player will probably get tired and fail the song, you know what I mean? <laughs> You said, no. you said, no, if no, I face no, you, no, you're no, going to no. let me win one no, song. No, no. You said, you promised. You said, if 
you're not gonna let me win one song, then pay for my entrance. But if you're not gonna let me win one song, don't pay for my entrance. And you're I didn't pay for it. You're a cheater. A cheater? Blah, blah, blah. That you didn't too. say because you didn't agree to lose to me. I didn't tell you all my At the last tournament, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna get people to, to lose songs to me all the time. And so I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. Everyone but me. We, we had previously discussed it, and he gave me inconclusive answers, like, yeah, yeah. no, okay. But uh, never did I'll I say I'll call you yes. back later, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Which is such BS, BTW. <laughs> Jen on hard difficulty, and Jen doesn't play any song on hard difficulty anymore. She thinks they're boring, so yeah. I figured it was an instant win since I didn't want to risk losing. Good job! Hard mode is boring, okay? With expert nines, my FA is pretty decent, whereas any hard chart's like a sight read for me. <laughs> my head was scattered, so on top of me not being on my game, I couldn't concentrate. A lot of things about the tournament, about certain people, and placing top three, just a lot of things that were getting in the way. I think JD's main weakness is, is stress. You're, you're always scared because you only have one chance, and if you do bad, then you're out. Um, I usually save what I like to call weapon songs, certain songs in the game that I know I'm either better at, more consistent at, or both. Brian, he's inconsistent and he can't full combo songs. JD is, like he's good on easy songs, but like if you play something hard against him, he doesn't have any chance. I was pissed was because that particular song I wanted to get a score on it I wanted to get a 90% like so close so that was why I was pissed at the time not not because I lost well yeah because I lost but mainly because of the score thing the mentality of uh, having one life left in the tournament that's gonna kill me like, I'm so nervous that uh, if I screw up I'm gone The scary songs, in my opinion, are just like the ones that are like typically higher BPMs and they're just like da 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 da. But for most people, you're not gonna listen to these songs all the time because they're not, in my opinion, the greatest songs. JD still has that mental stigma of like, oh, I'm not good at this song, I'm not gonna play it because my score is gonna be bad. Um, it could go either way, either way, but I hope JD takes it and I think he can. JD was leading the whole way and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, don't give up, don't give up because JD has this thing where he'll just stop. He'll be like full comboing or he'll have like gold combo, his life bar will be full, he'll just stop. I ended up screwing up around halfway and then that threw me off big time. Uh, when I watch matches, I get pretty into it. Like, I like them more than my own matches. And I was like, oh dear Jesus, don't give up, don't give up! Trying to, like, physically will him with my fists of doom, because if you quit, I'm gonna punch you in the face.
JD got a great and then that kind of threw him off and And then I just gave up trying and then I lost. If there was any one point in the tournament, it would have been that match alone where I was doing so bad. In a tournament, I shouldn't even have to be worrying about myself, just my opponent. And now I let it all get to me. I've never got, come in uh, first in a tournament in all my five years of playing. So I found that kind of sad. So I figured I wanted at least top three in this one, so, just so I could be, I could have some reputation. Okay. Like, no. <laughs> Maybe like tap dance or something that was like leg intensive, it would help with building the muscles, but other than that, no. Did I hold